Check this dragonfly out. Looks like somebody painted Bumblebee on him. Is that ever cool? talking to my camera. Hey, oh, yeah. my friends all wanted me to make a movie and show them show them the other side of the world. Oh. So it's pretty quiet right now. Yes. Maybe. I shouldn't expect this tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> It is around 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, I just got in. Slept pretty badly last night. I had a 21-hour uh, flight to get here and um, no layover. Or, uh, no, there was a stopover in Korea, South Korea, Seoul. And then from there, carried on to Bangkok. But uh, wow, that last five hours from Seoul to Bangkok felt like 20. And <laughs> that, but the, the first 14 from... Toronto to Seoul, you know, like that wasn't so bad. I, uh, you know, I just wrote it out and, you know, read about three books, I think. And uh, so, yeah, it was pretty cool. So anyways, here, check out my uh, view from my hotel room. Da-da-da-da. This is the Amari Hotel. I'll do a walk around later. Maybe if anyone's ever interested in coming to Thailand. This is right by the Don Muang Airport, which is the... Uh, and I'm definitely going out to check that pool out later. The Don, the Don Muang Airport is the airport which is um, flies more of the domestic flights. I flew into the other unpronounceable airport, the international airport, and uh, took a cab over here. The cabbie was really cool. I'll put some footage in here. Uh, he was a nice guy. Didn't even have to ask him to hit the meter. Hit the meter. Uh, it was, I think, around 400 baht was the cost to get here. And uh, oh, I was just glad he didn't burn me, so I gave him 500 baht because I didn't have change for starters, and I just was happy as hell to be someplace with a bed. So, um, yeah, that was my experience so far. So good. I uh, walked around last night uh, because I got to my hotel around 1 o'clock in the morning by the time we uh, got through immigration. Immigration was a breeze. Uh, you fill out a little form on the plane and uh, yeah, I was through immigration and out the door in no time flat. Uh, and then walking into the nighttime Bangkok heat was just pow. When I walked out the door of the airport, it was, well, let me say I was taking my sweater off in a real hurry. And uh, <laughs> I think it was 33, 32, something like that. But man, that was, uh, but I was expecting it, you know. 
I got my expectations way down here. So, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens here. And uh, I'm not going to be disappointed in too much other than getting clocked on the head or something like that. It might suck, but other than that, I'm just rolling with the punches, going with the flow, or whatever you want to call it. I was walking around last night, and uh, there was bats flying around. I've, of course, anyone who knows me knows that I'm like, wow, bats. Cheap entertainment for Glenn, and... Uh, Let's see, what else? I walked up and down the street by the hotel, uh, you know, gave a smoke to a dude who was, uh, you know, out there, whatever. Maybe that's my first scam. <laughs> Anyways, I gave him a cigarette, and he was happy about that. We stood there and had a, a non-communicative cigarette together, bonding Thai guy and Canadian guy. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I just walked around. I felt really safe. There's lots of markets and stuff around here. So anyways... That's uh, my little talk about my arriving in Bangkok, and uh, the Wi-Fi sucks, so I was hoping to do a video every day, but I don't think that's going to happen because uh, oh, the Wi-Fi is just not powerful here, and it takes a long time to upload these videos, so a lot of them may get done and edited together, but uh, I won't be able to upload them until I get back to the good old High Speed Rogers account, so um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's been a great journey so far and I have a breakfast I have to get down there in about half an hour so it's included in my meal um, this place I will probably do a uh, I might do a little video like a little walk around the Amari Hotel just to give people an idea of uh, and there's a, like a skyway that goes right over to the Don Muang Airport so you, I mean, you can walk right from here and walk right over to the airport there um, and as well flights all within Ch uh, Thailand um, you know, Udon Thani, Chiang Mai, any of these places, you can fly right out of here for anywhere 30 to $50 one way. So it's uh, it's not a bad place if you're coming in and you're going to fly back out somewhere. This is a good hotel for that because you can just walk right over the bridge. And uh, everybody's been super nice. It's probably four or five star, uh, in my opinion. It's like, you know, everything's, everything's high end and, uh, you know, they have bellboys and... Uh, you know, all that five-star crap. Anyways, I just wanted to be here so I could uh, meet my friend who's flying in to meet me tomorrow. So I'm hoping you guys get to meet her. I'm hoping she's not too camera shy. And uh, she just sent me a message and she bought me a present. And I was very impressed. It, was, it looks beautiful. So I guess that's how they do the thing over here with the presents. I read the book on the way over on the plane. And, uh, well, first of all, i got to say, on the plane, the waitress uh, the stewardesses the uh, airline attendants whatever they call them now uh, I mean I thought I was in a major model runway with the Thai lady uh, the Thai lady stewardesses uh, they might have been about four of them were 11s out of the 10 and then the the other six were like 10s and 9s I mean it was Oh, they're just beautiful, beautiful girls. But I've, it's, I gotta tell this story. I was reading a book on the way over, and it's called "They Call Me for Wrong," by Scott Mallon, and uh, I follow him on YouTube, and he's got a lot of advice for people who uh, want to come to Thailand. So I was just like gobbling up all his videos. And uh, anyways, in, in one chapter of his book, he talks about he can't figure out why, but uh, how Thai people like to just boom right up, right in public. And uh, so I'm reading this in this book, and uh, you know he's a type like the cabbie will pick his nose and then hand you your money and stuff like that. Like, it's pretty gross, right? <laughs> so, anyways, we were just getting ready to land, and there's this beautiful stewardess. She might have been 24 years old. She looked perfect, and uh, she's sitting in her little chair, and I could kind of see her up the aisle. And uh, getting ready, she would do her little announcements and tie, and uh, yeah, she was really beautiful. And then I was sitting there just kind of dazed because I'd been in the air for 25 hours, and uh, out of the blue, she just goes right up her nose and starts digging. <laughs> anyway, she went from a 10 to a, uh, a 9 in a real, real hurry there. <laughs> But anyways, I guess that's just the uh, Glenn's introduction to Thai culture 101. Uh, get ready to see lots of boogers getting flicked around. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.